Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is about graphing linear equations and inequalities using Desmos calculator. Before we proceed, please like this video, follow me on this page, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math videos. Also, if you want me to make a video tutorial about your homework, just please let me know comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I know that it's hard to graph manually but since we are on the 21st century where technology has been very useful then let us apply it now. So let us have the following examples. Sketch the graph of each line. So let us open desmos.com slash calculator and if you want to save your work, please log in using your Google account. If you don't have Google account, please create one so that you can use it well. So then my name is there. And then you can put a title on your graph to save it. So this is graphing linear equations and inequality. Then let us go to the first problem. We have 5y equals 6x plus 5. So let us graph it. So then 5y equals 6x plus 5. There you go. So you already have a graph, but if you want to make this one big, you can click the projector mode. And as you can see, this is now thick. So how can you save it? Will you screenshot this, take a photo, or print it? You don't need that. So first, go to your homework and then create a document. And if you have document with you, you can name it as classwork or whatever name you want to put. Then, I want the name of my student to be on the document and then let us graph the first problem now let us go to desmos so look at the share graph over here it's on right upper part of the desmos then will you copy the link will you print it will you export or embed i suggest you export it if you want to make this small, medium, large, but I preferred small, you can make the line medium or thick, but it's fine with me if it's thin. Now, will you download this? My answer is no. Just simply drag it and then go to Google Docs and there you go. This is actually the graph of 5y equals 6x plus 5. Next, let us try the second problem, which is 4 equals negative y. You can delete this or keep it. So this will be negative y is equal to 4. There you go. Then click the arrow, export image, Make it small, whatever you want, then drag, and here's your graph. So this is the graph of negative y is equal to 4. So let us try another problem. So let's say we have number 3. Negative 3x plus 12y equals 0. Manually, you still need to solve for y, write it in slope-intercept form, and then graph, but this time... You will just put negative 3x plus 12y is equal to 0. And click the arrow, export the image, make it small, and drag it. And you have the graph of negative 3x plus 12y equals 0. 
So you can graph any linear equations on Desmos calculator. How about, Ms. Boris, the linear inequalities? How will you graph that? So let's have this problem. Let us try y is greater than... All right, so you see this keyboard here, click it, and the sign is greater than or equal to, it's here, and then negative 5 over 3, negative 5 slash 3, arrow right, x plus 2. And there you go. Here is your graph. So as you can see, the y-intercept is 0, 2. And the x-intercept is 1.2x. And then the shaded area is on this side. So if you want to share that. So let us try medium. Let us try medium and, and medium square and thick medium. And then drag it, go to Google Docs, and there you go. This is what I am saying. If you make it medium, it consumes space, and it's like half of the document is consumed already. So let us try another problem. So let's say we have... 7x minus 5y, 7x minus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 15. And there you go. Click the arrow, export. I want to make this small square and then drag it. And here's your graph. So that is the difference between the medium and the small square. It's really big and this one is kind of small. So let's have one last problem. So let's take y is less than or equal to 1. y is less than or equal to 1. And here's your graph. Share export, make it small square, drag, and drop. So let us check your work on Google Classroom and it is automatically saved on the Google Classroom. And it's easy to grade and to check. And so, if you think that this video is informative, Please don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more math tutorials and video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and please keep safe. Bye!